Hi everyone, my name is Carrie, and if you are new here, I am the founder and CEO of Cornet Creative. So I am a full-time reseller. I've been selling since 2017, but I just went full-time as of four months ago. Um, so I did a really special trip to Minnesota a couple weeks ago and was able to visit my dear friend Carrie, who's having a baby in a couple of months and also visit my dear friend Monica as well who has the channel Millie and Monica. You may have seen our collab video last week. If not, I'll link it down below so after you're done watching you can go to that one. And then if you like videos like this please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I do a lot of vintage, designer, upcycled pieces so I'd love to have you here. You can follow me on all of my social media as Carnet Creative as well as my website carnetcreative.com. I also sell on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, Depop, and Instagram, so you can follow there for weekly drops. Um, but you may have recognized some of the pieces and the clips behind me um, from the clips of the thrift stores that we visited. So I'm gonna go through each piece. Some pieces might need some TLC. I did get through washing about half of it, um, so I've just been airing it in my basement for um, since I got it a couple weeks ago, it came back in the mail to me. I wasn't able to put all of my carry-on home. But if you're interested in anything, leave a comment down below. I'm more than likely behind on listing things. Um, so if you're interested in anything, just let me know and I will either list it on Poshmark if you're comfortable with that or we can um, do a PayPal invoice and ship it that way. All right, so the first place that we went to was the Salvation Army and in there you could see that there was lots of bins. It was dollar pound day, which is the lowest that it actually gets that I've ever heard of. Um, so I scooped up some purses that are just really great silhouettes. This one's obviously an early 2000s and there's the label in there. It reads um, Ret Paris and it is leather. It has a really great structured bottom and a really unique shape and like a good crossbody length. So there's that one. This one Carrie picked up for me. It is a pale pink. It really doesn't capture the color as well. It's a vinyl purse from the late 60s, early 70s. Again, great crossbody lengths. I'm always looking for purses. Um, they do really well for me. And this next piece is a little bit more unique. It is a really unique textile. It's gorgeous woven material. And you'll see that they did the beautiful striping at the bottom. Um, it does have some stains. I did put it through the wash just to get it initially clean, but I'm gonna do some spot treatment on this. I thought this would be beautiful in my home launch or if um, I need it for any textile repairing and also for masks. So I've been doing those as well with um, my collab partner, Regan, which jumping into this is a really lovely silk blouse by the label Cosmo, and it says made in Italy. I've never heard of the brand before. Let me know if you have in the comments down below. There's a little frizzy on here. Um, but it's just a really basic silk blouse. It's lined in a jersey um, on the base part and the sleeves are sheer. I just thought this would be beautiful dyed um, or kept as is, I haven't decided yet, but it definitely needs a good steam. And then what dropped was my last piece from that. So I got a short and sweet um, haul, but it's this really funky dress and it has this purse pattern and it looked very vintage, like the fabric looked vintage. Um, the finishing zigzag serge stitch looked vintage. Um, it's definitely handmade, but the zipper is plastic and modern. So I, there was some really cool African clothing in here. I'm not sure if that was from the same person um, or a lot of times you'll see that a zipper is replaced on a garment. So I do have, um, it's probably not worth too much research, but I just thought this was a super fun piece. It is midi length and I can't remember if it has pockets. No, but the bodice is lined. It's like a baby doll fit and it is approximately a size like six, eight, depending on your bust. So there's that one. And then the next store we went to was that community thrift store after we got coffee at that adorable cafe. It was so sweet in there. 
um and this was a treasure trove for all of us we like all got a ton of stuff at this store so it was really fun because you know we all all four of us are resellers so we all went into different parts so monica like beeline for the belts michelle was over at the men's t-shirt Carrie was in the kids section and I found that section of drawers in there and I just went ham looking through those and I found some really cool pieces. Um, the first couple pieces were these aprons. These are from the 1940s. Um, really lovely novelty print and super sweet silhouettes. These are not a huge ticket item, but the reason that I picked them up is that I am doing a fun pop-up in the fall for a socially distant shopping experience. Um, I'm gonna try to do it by private appointment for my lovely local clients, and then also try to do some socially distant public shopping if that is in the cards for the county that I am in. But I just thought these were so sweet for the people that are helping to carry around with them. Um, I'll show you what they will be carrying in the haul a little bit later. But I thought these were so lovely and a great way to, you know, give a vintage vibe for the people that are helping for the event. And also easily identifiable and functional. So that was there. And then also in that drawer, I found this really great bullet bra. And I will show the label here. I don't know if you can see it that well. Mm. Well, I'll just read it to you. Um, it's a 100% nylon. There is no brand that I could find, um, but it's in really great condition. And it's a hook and eye front. And then once you hook it, you can see that it's a very classic like balconette shape with the bullet shaped cups. So I know that these do well. I haven't sold them personally before. I sold them through other shops that I've worked for, um, but I do really love this piece and I'm excited about that. Another piece that I got from the drawers again is this awesome half slip. I always like picking these up. Um, they're great to layer with bike shorts as actual clothing or of course under pieces, but this one has the most darling little ruffle umbrellas on them and little tiny like rosettes with pearls on it. And super great lace trim, perfect condition. And this one is called from La Rose, made in the USA. Again, a very vintage label and it is all nylon. This one is about an extra small, obviously. Um, and then, I guess I'll do some accessories. So I saw this a couple times and I do show this in the video, but all I saw was this and I, I don't even think, I think I saw this side, they had this side out and I had turned it and I found this 60s brooch. So I was like, oh, um, this really might actually be vintage and not like an Iranian garment. And I turned it and it had this beautiful millinery detail. Um, and then I found the label, which is obviously 60s and trimmed in silver. And the label is Helen Erickson. And this is just simply stunning. And a lot of times it was like, you know, worn over the shoulder with this like very Tudor styling look. But I do have to clean up the inside because it looks like my rack got some schmutz on it. But a little baby soap and this should be golden, but I just absolutely adore this piece. I'm gonna go pause it and I'll be right back because I'm gonna wash my hands because I don't want to get it all in the clothes. All right, I am back. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my seltzer and you're golden and clean. Um, so for the other accessories is this beautiful lambskin leather 80s belt. Um, I try to pick up belts when I see them. Monica definitely scored the mother load, but she did leave some treasures for the rest of us. Um, I know Carrie's found a really cool beaded one as well, um, but it just is a really great, simple statement, really well made and just lovely. Then I 
inner drag queen was obsessed with this silver bucket bag. How gorgeous. I mean, not even studs, not even rhinestones. There's sto um, little like flowers and really great triangles and squares and it's just so, so, so fun. And the back is plain, it has a functional back pocket and the label is Diwali, which I have heard of this before, but I do have to get a refresher. Genuine leather made in the USA, and it's so cool. I absolutely love it. And I also have some other treasures from the finds here. Um, so this can be a shoulder bag or a crossbody. And it has really great zipper compartments. So all around, super happy with this find. Um, I think the girls thought it was a little crazy, but I know this will go to a good home. So if you're interested, prove me right. <laughs> and this one, I think I'm going to hold on to it for a bit. Um, it's an awesome straw bag. And if you had seen what it looks like literally behind the camera right now, I might just flip it real fast. I have two other, you'll get a, a brief dining room tour, two other straw bags sitting literally behind me. But I think I'm gonna keep this one and probably one of those still, but I do use these all the time. This was my carry-on bag back, but it's this gorgeous, and I believe it's Moroccan um, handcrafted leather tote. There are no labels in it. It is super sturdy, well-made, and it's definitely a modern piece, but I am just simply in awe of it, so I was super excited by this find but that is one of the pieces that I will be keeping for myself for now, because it is an endless cycle. And then, oh, my accessories. I was at the register and I had spotted this dollar rack find of necklaces, but this is the one that I scooped up. It has this really like cool like faux abalone um, shell detail with gold clasps, and the clasp is even lovely itself too. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be so beautiful for someone. I don't often pick up jewelry because I have quite a bit of a jewelry death pile. But that one had to be that had to be scooped up. And then this piece is really, really lovely. This is a chain mail purse. Um, I would date this approximately mid-1910s to 1920s. Take out my little tag here. Um, you can see the lining is discolored, but it is in great condition. It is not shattering anywhere. And the chain mail is in beautiful condition. I don't usually find the chain mail in this large of a scale. So I'm probably going to either sew a small little loop of my antique thread or antique ribbon and make that little thread chain for that button there but I just thought it was so lovely, a great little piece, and I can't leave these little touching pieces of history behind. Oh my gosh, how great would this be as a necklace? <laughs> so there's that one. And then this next piece is a 90s, talk about 100 years of fashion. Um, this is a 90s button front dress. It buttons up all the way down, they're completely functional, so I thought this would be great as a duster with shorts, with jeans, halfway buttoned. Um, or of course a full-length maxi. This is a size 7, so a junior size, so I mean it, it would fit true to a size 6, size 8. There isn't too much stretch and there is the label there. Nothing groundbreaking, um, but a great staple piece. And then this next one I just absolutely love. This is a very 1940s-esque dress made in the 1980s. And it is a pale pink, which you know has my heart. It has this gorgeous cow neckline. And it had the original belt. And it was 50% uh, off, so we definitely scooped that up. And everything's great condition. There's no cracking on the vinyl. This label is Polini Von Bromlet. And it has locations in LA, Milan, and New York is always a good sign and it's polyester of course made in the USA size 910 um, it does have an elastic waist so this one would probably be a 6 8 best and then our next one I always have a weakness for the moo moos the girls actually pulled this out and was like oh ha ha Kara you would love this and I did jokes on them it's awesome <laughs> 
this beautiful poly 70s Mumu maxi caftan dress, house dress. There's so many terms you can use. It has two pockets, which usually sometimes is rare. It's usually a one pocket situation. Zip front partially, um, but I just thought this was so, so great. And great size, great condition. I didn't even hesitate to scoop that up. I simply adore this silk scarf. Again, in my death pile is silk scarves nagi so i need to do a live sale of that soon but this is just so beautiful so vibrant and it is thai silk so it has that super fine shantung silk like wool silk finish um that you can see the fibers really well and made in thailand of course but super stunning i think this is like a, a 24 by 24 but i would have to measure um and then the next piece I have is this really funky, I pulled this out from Michelle, given it to Carrie, Carrie gave it to Michelle, Michelle didn't want it, and I saw it on the rack and I said, all right, I need to get this thing. It's just following me around the store. It's so funky, it's very Moschino looking, and suiting is very on trend for the fall and winter season. Um, especially 80s, 90s style. It has these awesome multicolored buttons. Here is the label. It is marked size of 10, and I would say it runs true to size, if not just slightly smaller to size 8. Then, that is the end of that haul. I'm just making sure I did everything there. And the next day, we, um, so we went to the bins after that, and then the next day, we went to a estate sale, and it was actually way past, we had taken our time, we were doing a maternity shoot for Carrie, so we ended up missing the estate sale, and the girls were gonna go into downtown to see the bridge to Wisconsin, and I said, like, you know, if it's super close by, we might as well drive by, you never know if they have stuff out in the street to give away, or if they're just trickling around and oh, we went by and you guys, did you see that awesome wicker rack? Like Monica scored the mother load. She got that rack, she got that awesome macrame table. I don't even know if I filmed it hanging up, but so beautiful. And I think she got like two or three bags. At the end of the day, they said like, you know, you fill a bag for $5. So I scored some really, really funky things. The girl scored some awesome stuff. I know that Michelle, she <laughs> filled a whole carry-on bag just of pottery to take home to PA. Um, I, on the other hand, went super small. I got a little tiny bag and I pulled stuff for the girls, but I pulled this lace collar and it just has that beautiful pastel ombre. I love sewing these as drops on dresses. Um, on call it originally it's like for a collar um, or for a hem of something but I just thought this was so lovely and in my $5 bag I couldn't pass it up the other thing that I scooped up was this little bits and bobs bag which I'm sure everyone else passed by without any question but I absolutely love these little belt loops and what I use these for is like tying up a t-shirt. I don't know if I have, oh, let me use my silk top. So you have your top and you want your remnants instead of tying a knot, you can pull it through and then you pull it through again and it creates that tied up look. It's a little bit more chic. Um, and you can play with the length so you could do it a different way too and that would show the, the hem off a little bit better um, but I thought these were great to pair with the t-shirts that I have listed um, this one is from the 1930s it's a mother of pearl brooch belt loop um, a lot of times they were used in ribbon as well so yes there is quite a few of these um, little belts. They range from the 1940s, 1930s to the 1970s. This one's a really cool brass one. This one's actually like a hook. Um, just a basic belt clip. Um, and I loved this one too. This is a really great brass one. And if anyone knows what this is, comment down below. 
I'll give you a couple seconds. <laughs> if there's any um, newbies out here, this is like a shoe shuffer. So you help your foot get into a shoe. Then the other things from that little bag was a ton of vintage measuring tapes. So this one's made in Japan. Um, and then I have this one that is made in West Germany. <laughs> and uh, you can tell obviously where they're made and with the fonts, it has this little holding case. And this one's like a slap bracelet for, um, oh, Lando Lakes, I didn't even notice that this is for that one, but this is like a slap bracelet of a, a measuring tape. And I picked these up because I wanted to use these for the pop-up if anyone needed to measure things because we will not be um, allowing try-ons, of course. And the last but not least is this Darling. This one's my favorite. Um, this fabric one. I don't know if there is a market for vintage measuring tapes, if they sell well, if anyone has experience. Um, that's pretty interesting. I'm not in that market, but never say never. And this one is Washington MFG code co, sorry, <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. And this is for overalls and dungarees. It's the standard of the industry, but you can pause that to read. How funky is that? And it's adhesive um, on the other side here to stick. And then the last thing that I got in that fill bag was these uh, seven jeans. This is a boot cut style, um, but for less than a dollar, I didn't really feel like I could pass them up because um, they were also a really good size. They are a 40 by 32, I believe. Yes, um, and dark wash, of course, and yeah, minimal distressing, so I thought they were a good scoop up. And then we were on our way to lunch and we spotted um, a dollar rack outside and we ran. So you'll see some footage of that. And then I walked inside, it's actually a hair salon and a boutique in the front. And I was going to the back and there was these beautiful textiles. And then I saw this little ditty hanging, which I think is and you, if you saw my bins haul, I found some pretty amazing stuff. This is hands down, I think, one of my favorite finds in a while. It's this gorgeous, I believe it's a crew lace with a fringe textile. And it has embroidered, embroidered, <laughs> embroidered inlets of this gorgeous florals. And I just, I literally swooned over it. And I... I'm having a difficult time dating it because it gives me all the 1930s, 1940s vibe, but it's in such incredible condition um, that I'm like, is it a newer 1970s piece? Um, so it's going to be in my research pile for a bit. Um, if it's as old as I think it is, it can be worth a couple hundred dollars. So I am super excited to see what this exciting piece brings, but hands down, one of my favorite finds in a very long time um, beyond the trip. But then, last but not least, we went to, I'll do this one first, um, a Goodwill on after we um, had lunch and had some fun Greek food, and I found some really great dresses. We had 30 minutes before we had to rush home and have dinner, um, so we set the timer on the clock and we all ran. So I ran for the purses and the hats first and then I went to the dresses. And I found this awesome LeMay um, woven 1980s dress. It is La Costa Spa, California, made in the USA. It is a size 14, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it to wear it a couple of times, but it just is so lovely. It's like a tunic style, button front. Would be so cute, like half buttoned and like sloppily tucked into shorts, but I just absolutely loved that piece. Then I scooped up this soft surroundings caftan. It gives me all the vintage vibes, super well made, and it is actually new with some of the tags. It has the care tag, um, and it is a petite small medium. 
and it has the stitching down the side, which was pretty traditional for vintage caftans to also give them some shape. So it is not super, super flowy, um, but it has this beautiful Turkish um, detail as well. And then you guys know I can't resist a slip dress. This will probably be in my keep pile for a bit. I absolutely love wearing these. It is a size large and it is late 90s, but adjustable straps, great lace detail, beautiful champagne color, and I'm in love. <laughs> and then I found not one, not two, Jams World dresses. So I know that um, Caitlin City Thrifted on Instagram, she loves these dresses. I had never heard of them before until she had posted about them, but they do sew pretty well. Um, and you know, Monica went through this whole rack before I did and she found a ton of really cool pieces. I'm sure she's sewing them in some thrift hauls um, or you can go to her Poshmark closet, but she was literally like, oh my God, how did I miss these? And it just shows there's so much for everyone to find that literally I was going seconds behind her and still finding these pieces that worked for me. And this last piece is this polo patch dress um, from Ralph Lauren and it does pretty well online and I actually sold a kappa dress very similar to this one with the navy blue polo style with patches to my friend Lauren who is a beautiful beautiful redhead model and she totally killed this so I'm probably gonna do a lookalike post on Instagram and hopefully this goes in a jiffy and it is a size medium and then one of the best for last, I scooped up this awesome fedora and I got some schmutz on that rack, my goodness. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of baby soap on this, but it is so lovely, felt, and then there is the inside. But really classic 60s style. Thought this would be so great for like the cool girl style. Um, and then I'm definitely not doing it justice, but the last piece from this haul, I can't believe we went through the whole thing. My phone like only quit four times. <laughs> I'm like totally running out of storage, but that's a topic for another day. It's this 1960s with this really fun crown glitter bag and then you can open it. The lining is in great condition and then it has these levers so you can Put the handle top handle in and it becomes a clutch but this was just so lovely and i'm so glad i can add it to the the vintage purse haul um but that is everything thank you if you watched it to the end you are the best and let me know what your favorite piece is down below again if you're interested in anything just leave a comment i will tag you in the poshmark listing or send you a paypal invoice you can follow me over on carnet creative on instagram poshmark ebay etsy and depop thanks for watching and if you like videos like this consider subscribing and giving this a thumbs up thanks so much for watching guys have a great day